folks, welcome back. So, off camera I did a bunch of crafting of these, uh, different, uh, orbs. And, uh, slates and all of that stuff. And I've actually managed to finally build the ritual of the binding. Now what we need to do is activate it. So I built the lava crystal. And I think we just need to put that in a blood altar with 10,000 LP. A tier 3, and that'll give us a activation crystal. And let's just make sure we got 10,000 into here. We're at 15. That's beautiful. And while that's cooking, let's go ahead and make ourselves a diamond sword. Because we're almost there. Let's see. We need... Um, diamond sword. I don't want to really... Go through and search for all the things. I've got that guy. We got that. We need to we're gonna need to turn off our magnet here. We should have our activation crystal about ready. I did manage to figure out how to make a potion to regen four. Um but I'll leave it up to you guys to figure it out because apparently that's not a very um like known recipe. It took me a lot of playing around, to be fair. We're going to take and fill up the rest of our uh, orb or our network here with magic. Let's go ahead and get a swig of a normal regen potion. I don't want to waste this unless we need to fill an orb up um, pronto. Because that regen 4 will take us to the top in a hurry. Regen 2, not so much. And I met, I did decide to build the um, ritual thing up top here because it's about the closest spot where I had plenty of room. So what we should need to do here is drop a sword in the middle, if I can do it. And then we activate the ritual somehow. that activate that to me? Okay, now I should be able to activate it. And now it starts throwing lightning everywhere. And we should get a bound sword. And once that's done, let's go ahead and figure out where our sword went to. I don't really see it. Uh, did the lightning really blow it up? Or what? I don't quite know what happened there. Uh, maybe we gotta do it again? What did I miss? So Ritual of the Binding was in our book here. Let's see. Activate it and then throw in the sword. Oops, maybe I did it in the wrong order. That's entirely possible. Let's try that again. So I think we're going to need to shut off our magnet here. Come on. Upsie daisy. Let's go ahead and activate it one more time. No. Where's our sword? There we go. And we got it. Wow. That was kind of a pain in the can. Uh, Bound Blade, do we get one back? Beautiful. And I will take the Runes of Augmented Capacity. Well, no, I'm going to take the Reward Bag. Let's see what we get. Because none of those are terrible to make. Yeah, they're kind of painful, but not terrible. We got two Epic Reward Bags. 
Ooh, look at this. A thumb it. Wow. That's incredible. I could have used that early on. And purple cloth slabs. Okay, that's kind of terrible. But that first one was excellent. A thomastatic harness. I don't get a fusion craft that. And now with this bound sword, what we should be able to do is, or what we need to do is go kill enemies till we get a weak blood shard. So let's get this sword up here. For the time being, I'll put our other tools back, I think. And all this good stuff. Till we need it again. Oh, and we should take a look at the quest book here. So now we need to make a lot of other stuff, which I will do most of this off camera, because it's going to take forever. But what we can do with these orbs, let's see here. So we need to get to a master blood orb, we need this weak blood chart. We need a handful of these. So I say let's uh, just go down to our mob spawner and kill some stuff. If we can. Whoa, we got a lot of guys standing down here, it looks like. So, I want that to stay on. Oh, look at that. Let's go down to this side then and nuke a couple. So we get what we want. And we'll turn, yeah, maybe we'll turn that off, I don't know. Come on. You guys come this way. Oh, really? Oh, I had to bind it to myself. There we go. Until we get the other, there's a uh, shard. There's one, we need two of these. There we go. Maybe. That's kind of what I'm waiting for. These are the ones that take the time. And how much essence does this take? 40,000. So we're going to have to refill our thing a couple times over. And this does 12 attack damage. I think we're going to use this sword from now on. This is just hands down awesome. We'll see if we can't farm one more here while we wait. Let them all come running. We'll get there. Get rid of the stuff we don't need at the moment. Hey, buddy. I'm over here. You're kind of hiding in the corner. I don't know what's the matter for you. Let me help you out. Actually, keeping one or two of them here will help out this cause. Okay. Come on, where's that weak blood shard? These things are kind of rare from the looks of it. I don't know if this comes from mostly magical creatures or what the dealio is. Let's go ahead and turn it back on and make our master blood orb.
So we need to have 40,000. We got nothing in there. Let's see if we can't top her off. And actually what I can do here... Oh, the Master Blood Order probably requires a Tier 4 altar, so I need to make the Tier 4 altar first. Let's do that. Uh, I think it's just this. Oh, and it doesn't even use it up. Wonderful. Okay. So now we got these large bloodstone bricks. Those actually end up going on top of these guys. Let's see if I can uh, just redo this quick. Oh, you know what I could do is just fly around. That'll make life easier, huh? And now, we're totally at a tier 4 altar. And that should, like, fill this thing up in a heartbeat. Let's see if we can't make a couple more runes of augmented capacity. Rune of self-sacrifice? What do we got here? Yeah. Okay, let's go for it. Let's make our new orb. Let me get our regen flask going here. Because we're probably going to need it. I kind of want to get the uh, altar completely filled up before we do much of anything. That just seems kind of smart to me. And let's take our swig and get this thing started. So now we can keep this altar pretty much topped. Really one of the best uses of this. Is to fill up the orb once we get it. Here we go. You can see that regen is filling up our bar very quickly. Should go fairly quick here. And having a tier 4 altar is kind of the nuts. Oh! Went a little too fast. Huh. Things happen. Whoops. Let's go get our stuff back. I think my regen wore out. Hopefully we got our blood orb here. Yes, we did. Just in the nick of time. Let's go ahead and let that thing charge up. Get our gear back on here. That was dangerous. Okay. Whoops. I've done that more times than I care to admit. So now that one's bound to me. And let's go ahead and eat a burger, fill up our lives. Kind of wondering why we're not gaining more hearts. That ought to do the trick in just a minute then. Maybe. Maybe we need a regen potion. Okay, let's save that regen potion for when we need it. I've got a normal uh, regen potion here that we can use up. Just to kind of help us out. Alright, so what do we got next? We need stuff, huh? 
So we're gonna need three, four, three magicians' blood orbs, which is gold blocks, and those are I think are thirty k a piece. Twenty five k, okay. Let's go ahead and do it. Drain everything out and then we'll stand and wait for health for just a minute here. And does the one we have in our inventory actually... Well, I don't want to give up the one we have in our inventory. Actually. Alright, let's take our potion back. Why not? We'll make three of these up. Here we go. We'll let it cook about halfway. And it's kind of nice when we can fill up our thing uh, that quickly. I really wish you could see how much timer we had left on the potion from uh, the main screen here. Let's go ahead and get ready to take that out of there. There we go. Kind of keep it topped off here if we can. Full wise. Yeah, this is where we could totally use a couple speed rooms to make this thing faster. And so I want you to pull those out for sure. Let's go ahead and top it off. And we'll start the start the games. It should take me about 10 more hearts here. Let's go ahead and get a regular regen potion. We'll use up that regular one. Why not? So when that gets to pretty close to empty, so it takes 25k and we're starting with 16, right? And that'll do the trick in just a moment here. So that should be done momentarily. Yep, there we go. Next. So we need to top off the pool here. And we'll let that one kind of go. Oops. Oh, let's let that one sit then. So now one thing we can do here, guys. If I have a lengthening catalyst. So we have like the this moderate lengthening catalyst, or average one we use up. We can take and put that up here and our potion into here, and that should bubble and increase the time that our effect lasts. So we were at 22 seconds, now we're at 240, that's kinda nice. I don't know if we used the swig there or not, no we didn't. And let's get our thing top back off here. And by the time this one's done, we should have regen most of our health and enough to fill it up anyway. It'll take a full bar of hearts to kind of um, finish the picture here. When we get this one down to about 3,000, we'll click it back up. 
or 6,000 I guess is probably okay. To top off. And we'll let our regen potion work its magic here because it's still going. We got a minute 53 yet, which is beautiful. Which means we can't even fill up our orb a bunch. We want to keep storing that raw life essence. That's good stuff. Completely taking advantage of the regen while we have it. For another minute 30. And we'll just leave that one in there. Let's go ahead and submit these orbs. Well, we can. There's one. So we would need... What are... Man, lamps of fertility, huh? Okay, let's go ahead and think about getting this thing started. Uh, and in fact, we'll put stuff away here that I don't need now. So that goes into two, that's up here. We need our wands. Kind of hoping that... Let's, let's just make sure, because I got a thing that makes wands disappear. I'm hoping it doesn't kill that one. Okay, that's looking fine. So we got two Thaumium wands that are in good shape. Let's go ahead and take these guys over to here. And to make a... Let's get our Thaumonomicon out. So we're going to need to make lamps. Lots of lamps, and I want a few extra anyway. So artificing... Whoops. We want to go this way. To make the arcane lamps... Oh, it's a crafting table thing. Okay, so it's an amber block, iron, a daylight sensor, and niter. Let's go ahead and program in that recipe at the main base if we can. We might as well, huh? Or the base components, anyway. Arcane. Can I see that from here? No. Okay, amber block. And we're going to need a daylight sensor. Do I have a daylight sensor in here already? I do not. Oh, okay. And I need some slabs. We'll use the jungle wood ones. Okay. And so then we want daylight sensors. I'm going to want, let's go with 40 of these. Uh, amber blocks. We're going to want 40 of the, these. And let's open up our thing once more here. We're going to need a couple stacks of iron and some night ore. Oh boy. Iron. And let's go back to our table. There we go. We'll probably even need to kill some mobs for this, I would imagine. Just to refill our silverwood wands. Okay. And we need more night ore. Night ore is done by coal, torches, and glowstone. Okay. Coal, torches, and glowstone. By the way, am I wearing my thaumaturg... So I should be wearing my thaumaturgist robe for this. Just to save us that extra little bit. 
I mean, it's two two percent is two percent at the end of the day. And now we got this little setup here, which is coal, torches, glowstone, and close that off, please. Did I do it fast enough? I did. <laughs> oh, it ain't. Wow, look at that. I don't know what it's doing. What, do I got to wand it or something? To get it to fly all the way up? Ha! <laughs> okay. And hopefully... So we need to go kill some mobs to get the V. Let's go back down to then our... Spawner. I keep forgetting we have the warp book. I should have thought about that the last time instead of running. Just force a habit. Okay. So are we getting... Looks like we're getting this stuff. There we go. How are we doing here? A lot of ways to go. I don't know why they keep running to that side. That's kind of funny. They're scared it must be. There we go. Come on, mobs. Filling up the wand. Always a fun game. Let's encourage all of them to make their way. Yep, we're going to leave one there aggroed, because uh, that seems smart to me. Oops, I probably wanted that block here. Oh, I got another weak blood orb shard. That can go back. Dolly can. Here we go. And hopefully this stuff will work its magic on us. Here we go. Okay. Come on, boys. I don't know why you think you can go that way. But you can't. Okay, how are we doing here? I don't think we're gaining with that, are we? Let's see if we get past the error of 40. Maybe this sword doesn't allow that drop so much. Oh yeah, it's going ever so slow. We just got two big wands to fill up. junk that I don't need.
You know what we're gonna do is go ahead and shut off my wand for this moment. So I'll let the stuff get sucked into the AE system. Where I can. We're getting there, I think. This is one of those cases where I'd love to put down one of the wands for a little bit. There we go. Another weak blood herb. Shard. Look at all the zombies running away. That's funny. They must not like it. Oh, so I see. So when that's activated, we're probably using our life essence network. So the reality is we probably want to turn it off and wait for a bunch of mods to spawn and then slaughter them. Well, we need uh, two more, like, completely filled out. There we go. Lots of weak blood charts. Letting all these guys uh, run over to here. do is I'll build up the wands. Here, how are we doing? Are we close? I will continue to build these up by off camera. Let's see if we can't finish the lights. Uh, a bit more. Maybe we got enough to do it here. I also do need to be cognizant of my other network here, so, so I want to get my other... What is that? Uh... Sword. I don't know what it's called. Uh, rapier. There we go. This one does not cause damage. And in fact, it looks like I might have room for modifiers. Maybe not. Uh, let's see. Let's try and make the last bit of what we got here. See if it gives us enough. Well, it's not terrible, but it'll get me there. It's not great, but it will get me there. We're going to need to make now lamps of growth. Take green shards. Terrible. Bone meal and that. We're going to need Herba, Victus, and Lux Extraordinaire. Herba... Lux and Victus. So we're going to need our third furnace here. Let's go ahead and put our wands up top for right now. Herba, Victus. Oh, I don't have it. Hearts, lights, and plants. Okay, even better. So how we're going to do this is we're going to put down three furnaces. One, two, and three. 
we're gonna need three of these guys. How does that work? Like so? I think I want them the exact opposite way. Because the pipe cannot connect to the brown, sadly. One, two, and three. And actually, I'm going to spread them out by one because I'm going to need to be able to put in coal here. Um, let me rethink this once more. We're going to do a separate small AE network for this whole thing. Okay, so we're going to need a controller. We're going to need a drive. We got plenty. 4K. I'm going to need three of these. I'm going to need a 64K for charcoal. Or coal. We're going to need some export buses. So we got, how many things do we got here? One, two, three, four, five, six. So we're going to need six there. And six is 12 total. Uh, we'll do... I think it's that way. We're going to need a bunch of cable. We're going to need... Uh, we're going to need a Tesseract. We're going to need a resonant energy cell. Let's see how far that gets us. I could use a handful of bricks or something, too. Do I have a partition editor recipe in here? No. Where did that go? It tried to steal it away from me. So now here's how we're going to do this. Because I don't want to refill this stuff constantly. We're going to put down our three furnaces. Whoops. Two and three. Our furnaces will go on top. And we might actually need, I don't know if we're going to need precision export buses or not. One, two, and three. Let's go ahead. Oh, we're going to need to rotate them in just a minute. And now I can come up to here and put, we're actually going to have to go up to here. And we can do it like that. We're going to need that Essentia tubing, which should connect on this side now, like so. Let's get this stuff cooked up while we're waiting. Actually, I lied. Let's get this piece together. We're going to need the cable. One, two, and three, and four, and five. And we'll go ahead and put our ME controller here. We'll get our disk drive on here. We should start getting the other thing filled up while we can. And we're going to want to do it like so. And like so. And you're going to do perceiving power on main. Thank you. And we want this to be on the 10,000 mark. That should be substantially less. We'll come back with these in a moment. I need to go back to the workshop and do a partition editor here. Because I want to get exactly these three things onto here. Let's see, our partition editor is here. This guy will stay 
here. Format. We're going to call this Herba. Okay. This one we're going to call Victus. And you know what? I changed my mind. Let's get one of each mana bean type into here. And 16, hey. That 64k I want to be charcoal, actually, or coal. That'll give me enough fuel forever. And we'll get that one loaded up. Uh, transfer data to storage cell go. That should go pretty quickly. We got 362,000 coal. So now what I'm going to need is... I'm going to want mana beans. And for a storage disk, I'm going to want one of these gigantic storage disks if we can. Maybe I'll even take our 16 million one for right now. Wherever it is, hopefully. Let's see if we can dump that off the network. Okay, take that off. Transfer data. Boot the output when empty. Go. Thank you. We'll do that. Move to storage disk. Move the output when full. And now we're going to want mana beans. One of, uh, I think there's 51 types in here. I don't know what an unknown aspect is. We got Herba. Alienus. Metallum do I got? Hermitatio. Mac. Wow. I don't know of a good way to do this, guys, so we're going to try and get them all under here. Um, actually, I do know of a good way to do this. ME chest. Uh, export bus. How's the export bus? Mana bean. Let's see if we can't get them all under here. Do like this and like this, and I want you to export stacks of that. Match any 16 million. We need a resonant energy cell. Do we have the power? So let's oh, and then I need my crescent wrench for all of this. As long as I always got a crescent wrench on the board, we're in good shape. That will kill our system pretty quickly, but I can do like that. Turn up the power usage, turn up that usage. We should be back to okay for now. Give me that cell. And turn that to orange. And now we should get every type of mana bean into here, hopefully. I don't know how fast it'll use up all the bites, but that's kind of scary to me. We'll see if we can't get all of it. And if, I, if nothing else, I could put these drives out there with all the mana beans. Wow. Fuzzy. Export bus. Do I not really? I don't have that recipe in the system. Okay, we'll fix that right now. Give me one of them. Let's do another one.
And I want you to match any. Let's move stacks. Cable. I don't want to wait all day. And you guys can see where I'm going. I'm going to automate refilling everything we need out there. About the only thing we're going to kind of struggle with here is our grass stuff. Green shards. I'm sure that'll be an issue. How are we doing on... Let me go ahead and craft another 16 million while we're waiting. That'll take all kinds of things forever. And for processors... I'm going to go ahead and craft a thousand more of them. Come on. And, whoops. We're going to craft uh, 5,000 of these guys. And for silicon, we're going to craft, I don't know, 20,000 of that. Go. And all of that will take time. I just don't know if 16 million storage will be enough for all the beans. I'm kind of open. I do believe there's like 50 something types of beans that we have at our disposal. Let's see. So we're doing all right here. And folks, we're going to wrap up the episode there. What I will do is let the, all these beans transfer, let the next disc make itself if we need be, if need be, and uh, we'll go from there. And until then, thanks for tuning in.